welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a bit of an unboxing of what are called Vivo Barefoot Shoes. These are the Trail Primus SGs. That's what I ordered because I like going I like going cross country. I like going over the rocks. I like hiking and I wanted to try out these barefoot shoes. My wife uses barefoot shoes all the time. She's been using them for some time and she swears by them thing about using barefoot is that obviously naturally we wouldn't be wearing shoes in the wild we would uh, be barefoot but in a modern day and age it's not so easy to do that there's glass on the floor there's sharp stones all over the place it's not nice to run around in just bare feet some people do and they can me I don't really want to so I decided to fork out some vivos Beforehand, I did get some cheap kind of uh, barefoot shoes off Amazon, uh, but they were more of a water shoe. They actually had holes in the bottom, so every time I walked on anything that was wet, it, it came up through the holes and I got soggy feet, and it was annoying. So this year, I decided, fine, I'm going to go for some Vivos. Everyone raves about them. So this literally has just come in the post, still within its bag. This is a proper unboxing. I haven't seen them at all yet. So, we'll give it a go. Okay. There's the logo. There we go. Primus Trail SGs. I like the SGs because they've got the white bottom to them. They just look slightly more trainery than rather. There's a lot of barefoot shoes which didn't have fingers and stuff. You know, they, they're like individual toes and they're just. I don't know, I'm a traditionalist. It freaks me out. So, I thought these looked quite nice. I haven't tried them yet, so here we go. What's in the box? A walk before you can run. See, that's the thing. Apparently, when you start wearing barefoot shoes, because you're going to be so used to having a heel, your body will be aligned for wearing a heel. But it's not the best posture for your body, and it's not particularly good for it. So what it is when it comes to barefoot shoes is it takes some time it'll take a good couple of months for your body to start feeling the effects of it, it in all fairness from what i hear it could even probably hurt to start with a little bit you know kind of an ache i didn't really have that problem when i started with my cheapo shoes so i don't think i'm going to have a problem here but some people do but uh right. so anyway some kind of thing uh we got extra lace no, nice. You never get extra laces. Oh, it's also fair to point out that these are also vegan uh, animal friendly shoes. So here we go. Primus SGs. There we are. That's my first look. Uh, you can see I've got massive grips on them because I like going off road. <laughs> I mean, you, you've probably seen from my other videos, I've started doing a lot of um, e boarding. Um, I've got a bit of a mountain board, so I like going off road. Um, so I wanted something with a bit of grip, one for my deck, um, and two for just generally hiking. But I wanted, you know, more of a trainer. So here we are. Lots of paper. Everything seems to be recyclable. Cardboard box. That's the box. Some more packing in here. Nice. out. also picked these because they are made from recycled plastic I believe so all of this is recycled plastic um, so it's a very environmentally low footprint I guess um, it says just inside I don't know if it can focus on that but it says it made from recycled materials yeah got a nice little logo on the front uh, initial impressions they look really nice they've got a wide toe box so your toes can spread out They've got some kind of cushioning in there. Not too much, because obviously they're supposed to be barefoot. So the next thing is then, oh, and they've got a uh, toggle on it, instead of laces. So that's easy, because I'm lazy these days, and I can tie laces, but you know what? I don't want to. I don't know how that toggle works, but it's there. I guess we just pull it. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's no kind of latch or anything to it. It's just basically pull bit where your thumb goes and it does seem to move a little bit whatever right 
We're going to try and pop them on. Here they are on. Very tight to around here. They don't feel like they're going to come off at all. Loads of room in the actual toes themselves. I got a size nine. I've only got little feet. Yeah, my toes there. So much room here. It just feels like you. They're very comfortable. Just feel like slippers, to be honest. Go for a little walk with them. It's good in the grass. Just no grip. Let's try out some stones. My day. Okay, so initial thoughts. Um, I like they come with a spare pair of laces. I'm thinking with a toggle system, probably not going to need them, but it's nice to have them anyway. A nice little catalogue that comes with it, showing the various different shoes. There are many different shoes. Obviously for uh, kids as well. I'm not sponsored by Vivo, so this is just a legitimate review. So, um, yeah. Okay, thanks for watching, um, and any questions, just ask me down below, and I will leave a link to their website, where you can obviously have a look at what they've got, and see what they do, and look more at the science, and, and what they say about bare feet, and, and how it can help you, and help your back problems, and things like that. Um, yeah, let me know if you want anything. Alright, thanks a lot, take care, see you soon.